What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Sports Prodigies podcast with your hosts. I'm Aiden. And I'm Jeremy. And today we are honored to bring on former Michigan running back and now Maryland running back Jordan Castleberry. Say what's up, Jordan. What's good, y'all? What have you been up to, Jordan? Not much, y'all. Making the transition. I actually transferred here in January, so it's pretty, I'm pretty familiar with the area now, but I just, we just been training so far since we've been back, so just working, running yeah. back and stuff. What day did you get back on campus? <clears throat> June eighth. All right. Everybody reported back June eighth. Yeah, that's yeah. great. And uh, we hope that your family and friends are obviously healthy during this time, and we really hope to see you on the. Uh, we really hope college football does happen this year. No, oh, yeah, for sure that. Yeah. So before we get into the questions with Jordan, we just wanted to talk about our sponsor for this video. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is the best shaving company known to man. And from personal experience, I love using the Lawnmower 3.0 because it really is a lawnmower. And it does the perfect job for me. Jeremy, what do you have to say? Yeah, Manscaped's the best. All of their products are top notch. I mean, the lawnmower, it really lives up to its name. It really mows the lawn, if you know what I'm saying. And all I got to say is your balls will thank you. That's right. That is their motto. Your balls will thank you. So to get your own Manscaped products, go to manscaped.com and use the code capital SP2020 to get 20% off and free shipping. If you want to get the best products, males, I recommend highly. Females, I recommend to get for your males. This is probably the best product out there I would recommend to all. So once again, use capital SP2020 on manscaped.com to get 20% off and free shipping. So let's get into the questions. So, Jordan, when did you start playing football? I started playing football when I was four years old. Um, I was four, actually turning five. Um, we had to have a, actually had to have an special insurance immunity league for me to play up, and I was playing with seven-year-olds. And um, I've always been around the game. My older brothers played, my dad played, all my uncles have played. And um, I kind of learned to love the game throughout the years I've been playing. So I've been playing since I was turned, since four to five. Wow. Since that time. Yeah, that, that's really young. Um, did you play, like, any other sports growing up? I ran track my whole life ever since um, third grade. I've been running track. And um, my track career ended after my senior year, of course. And um, I've also played basketball from sixth grade through um, ninth grade. Nice. So you started your collegiate career at Michigan, and you transferred to Maryland. So – why did you pick Michigan initially, and what made you decide to transfer to Maryland? Uh, well, my recruiting, it got, it got slow. Um, I was actually going to West Virginia, but that didn't work out. And um, I was planning on going to, like, Akron or Kent. But um, Coach Harbaugh, <clears throat> he was recruiting uh, one of my teammates, and um, we started rec- recruiting uh, me and my friend Caden Koza. And so – after that, it was like we took an official visit there, and it was everything seemed cool. I I've been knowing them since my junior year, but they wasn't heavily recruiting me until like after my senior year. But it was cool and everything, you know, the way it was set up. But um, it just you know sometimes it just don't fit. Um, and I had that conversation with Coach Harbaugh when I before I entered the portal. It's like you know you can try to make something fit as much as you want to, but if it don't fit, it don't fit. So. Um, I actually talked to Coach Brooks, and um, we were down on running backs. And the only running back that was returning was um, Jake Funk. And Lolo, he had just uh, medically retired. So um, it looked like it was just going to be me and Jake in spring ball, but it was, we, just, we were just staying on running back. So he said it was, a, it was a big opportunity for me to play. Not only that, he liked the way I play, um, my knowledge of the game, and um, – and so I thought Maryland was the best choice. So I chose to go to Maryland. Yeah, and obviously in life there's always going to be humps and you have to get over those humps. But I think Maryland's going to be a great opportunity for you. We've had Jake on before. He's a great guy. And I feel like both you guys in that backfield could do a lot of damage. So, Jordan, how excited are you for your first Maryland game? <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually pumped. Um <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a minute, and um, it's just it's just exciting. Football in general, just playing anywhere. If I was at another college anywhere, but um, 
what Coach Locks is building uh, here at Maryland now um, is something I really want to be a part of. You know, it's the steps he's he's taking for for future and even for now. Um, I like the way he's doing things, and I think this year is going to be it's going to be a good year for Maryland football, Maryland in general. I mean, um, we. We just had the basketball team win a Big Ten championship, you know, so and a Big Ten tournament. So um, I feel like we just, we just going to add another brick to that. So I feel like I'm really I'm really excited for the season. Yeah, um, I really do think the season, even if it's just in conference games that is allowed, I don't care. Um, even when if it's not even fans, um, I'm fine with that. Yeah, it'd be weird, but when you love the sport you play, um, you do anything to play that sport. So. I'm very excited. Yeah, Jordan, sometimes the NCAA rules confuse me. You're going to be immediately eligible, right? Yeah, I'd be immediately eligible. All right, sounds good. So what do you think you need to, like, work on the most before starting the season? Um, What I need to work on most, uh, personally, um, me, I want to – I know the playbook a lot, but I want to master it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to, like, second-guess myself or, like uh, – do I have this crowd or get confused over, like, little brain farts? I mean, we all have brain farts, but I want to get to the point where, like, as if I was, like, the offensive coordinator, learn every position. And so that's my biggest thing right now. Um, also, I, will, I also want to work on being more of a team player. I mean, I've been doing that. Um, I've been doing that this past uh, – since I got here, but um, just hanging out with my team, teammates, uh, working out with them going through the things I'm going through. They, we're just sharing, just bonding, basically. So that's everything. That's just been good for me, and I'm excited for that. So that's all I've been working on so far. Yeah, and those two things sound great, and obviously you need them uh, while playing football. And talking about your teammates, obviously with the coronavirus going on, six feet away, trying not to – wearing masks, trying not to get close to everybody, has it been hard to – uh, like get your to like know your teammates better because of the coronavirus, or are you still hanging out with them all the time and meeting them? Um, we are. Uh, we actually we all don't work out together. We we're in separate groups. Um, we, Coach RD has uh, arranged uh, a great routine where we keep in our distance while we're working out and and all this uh, other stuff. But um, I, I probably like my the people I live with. Um, I'm probably with them the most out of the day um, other than the people I work out with compared to the people I work out with. Um, but nah, though, everybody is close. We all talk. We all talk. Um, we all play the video games together. And we, we all in group chats, you know, and stuff like that. And um, and I was fortunate enough before, like, COVID shut down a lot of stuff. Um, I was fortunate enough to come here earlier where we could have that, you know, team interaction. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So what? Straight. What video games do you play? <laughs> um, I'm a big 2K guy. Um, I was a Fortnite guy, but then the building came out. I wasn't that good at it. I ain't really put the time or effort into building. So, yeah. you know, I got ran off of Fortnite. I'm trying to <laughs> – uh, but um, I play Warzone, too. Um, me and Jake played Warzone a couple times. Got a couple dubs on Warzone. But, yeah. And, oh, I play Madden, too. I play Madden, too. I like playing franchise. and Nice. Yeah. Nice. Majority of the time, I play 2K. Sounds good. So, do you have, like, an idol or someone that you look up to on or off the field? Um, Somebody I look up to on or off the field. Um, uh, I would say, like, just in general, I look up to my – um, look up to my dad and my and my brother, Jerome Jr., um, my brother Jerome, he's dealt with a lot. Um, he's dealt with a lot growing up, and he's dealt with a lot, like with his kid situation, his college situation. Um, so, um, look at looking at his setbacks and how he's grinded to get where he's at now. Um, that's something I want to do, and um, he's always told me a man's greatest accomplishment is becoming a better man. And, I see that at home, and so that's something I strive to always do. Um, and I feel like he's living his dream through me, since um, sport was taken away from him. And as far as my dad, um, 
my dad is he's my dad. Um, I'm fortunate to have both of my parents in my life. Um, and I'm just saying that from like growing up, some of my friends and have both parents in their lives, even on the team, on this team, a lot of a lot of people's situations are um, go hand in hand with mine. So he's always been a dad for his kids and always been a father figure or a male, a, a structural male figure in somebody else's life. So those are two people I really look up to. Yeah, and that quote that you said, I highly uh, believe in. and I think that's a perfect quote. And um, you, so you were talking about video games earlier. If you could tell us some other things, like what do you do? So people kind of look at you, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I've spoken with a lot of athletes, and they say that people look at them as this hard guy because they play football and they're bigger than everybody else. And every other person tells us, oh, no, we're chill back, we're laid back, we do a lot of things off the field. So what are some of those things that you do, like, off the field with friends or with your teammates? Oh, I'm a goofy person. Like, if you're around me, <laughs> like, and I'm real open, I don't be on that. Um, it's just a lot of it's a lot of athletes like that. Like, you can even ask Jake. Um, I get, I get, um, you know, you can, I get along with people really well. Um, I just like anything that people – Usually it's whatever somebody want to do. Like, you want to go fishing. I'd be open to anything, hunting, anything, um, playing football. I like playing basketball, I like pick up basketball. Um, I like working out. Um, I like to help train my mom and my dad. That's what I'm doing right now. We be on FaceTime calls, having little workouts. You know, anything, um, for real, for real, besides the game, because I do get tired of the game. So um, just this, like, going on live. You know, goofing around with like Penny Boone or <laughs> Devin King. Uh, that's what I. That's what I've been doing. So these these past couple um these past couple uh days we've been here. So you know, I'm really open to anything for real, for real. Um, I don't really have one set thing I do. I'm always doing something different. Yeah, and this kind of, this question last question kind of like ties into that. But what is like one thing you want people to know about Jordan Castleberry that they might not know already? Uh, one thing I just want, I first of all, I just want my, my legacy, uh, for my family and for myself to, to live and not just be viewed as like a football player because, um, on a religious side, um, I'm, I'm a very religious guy. Um, I'm a Christian and, um, I respect everybody else's uh, religion, anything. I would never force my religion on somebody, but, um, you know, somebody that's God fearing and willing to help anybody um for real, for real that's i'm always open on to anybody i feel i feel like everyone deserves a clean slate um a lot of us in life mess up but you know that's what individuals that's why we we are made to interact with one another and you know and i'm a person you know who like who likes to love so i'm a loving guy easy to talk to and so that's what i would want people to know about me that sounds amazing, and I feel like from this podcast, a lot of people could tell that you're a really outgoing and nice guy. I appreciate that. Yeah, so uh, that's that's it for the podcast today. We want to thank you, Jordan, for coming on. It means a lot. Uh, we wish you the best of luck in this upcoming season, and we hope that uh, maybe we get down to Maryland and watch you play a couple games. Oh, for sure. Hit me up. I will, Thanks. I will. And um, I know Jeremy's also a huge fan, so he's yeah. really excited to watch you play, so. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting. Um, Yeah, so that's it. Uh, If you're on YouTube, like this video and go subscribe to our channel. If you're on Spotify, go follow our account and same as Apple Podcasts. And like I said in the beginning, if you're trying to get some Manscaped products, use the code SP2020 to get 20% off. And uh, it's a great deal. Manscaped is the best, like I said, and I highly recommend. So that's it for today. Signing off with your hosts, I'm Aiden. And I'm Jeremy. And everybody have a great day. Thank you.